guys, on to the next track, Slash Performance in Sonia's Young Soul Saturday. I almost completely forgot the name of the series. Uh, this one over here is Jamie Bauer. I am, I think I might have reacted to Jamie Bauer once or twice before. I think, Sonia, I think you're the one that requested Jamie Bauer before. Uh, this is I am. We've never reacted to this one over here before we even get into this, just to let you guys know. I'm saying it on every video because I don't know where you guys are going to land up. I don't know which video you guys are going to watch. So just to let know, everybody know that uh, Harmony of Hearts will be completed by the 8th of March. So we are going to be reacting to more Harmony of Hearts tomorrow. And then we're going to carry on into next week and we'll wrap up by the 8th of March. Right, there will be a new campaign campaign that's being launched in the next day um you guys will obviously be let, uh, you'll uh, will let you know about that obviously um but it's only for the other reactors i will not be partaking in the new campaign i will start prepping for my personal campaign that's going to run um that's going to drop in mid-april but is going to be recorded um in march and in the beginning of april that's how much work it's going to take um to put this series together and there's only 10 slots there's only 10 booking slots available i'm not opening up for another one because there's a lot of work but it will be an absolutely sensational series never been done neither on this channel or any ch other channel um which is going to be absolutely fantastic i just thought to make it as part of a series which does have a competition element to it as well um after the hohs i will also be completing the uh, 535 competition um series which is obviously the winners um we'll do that and then i'll notify you by the 15th i'll notify you of the new series as well and you guys can book from there anyway let's rock and roll man let's see what we got over here jamie bar i am uh let's see a short video two minutes let's go mm. i like this kind of percussive, percussive uh, I'm a demon, I'm a newborn fawn I'm the bobcat on the far side of the breaking dawn I'm the ocean, I'm the black stone you have cast alone I'm the vulture, I'm an eagle, I'm a debutant before Whoa. The devil comes for you Make sure You have paid your dues that the devil comes for you uh, i would argue that the devil is actually within you um as well it just depends in terms of how you allow him out or not uh, essentially because we are fallen we are fallen souls and at the end of the day we um are going to want just human nature we are going to want to um, chase our temptations we're going to want to chase um cheap things right because cheap things always feel good right it's great and there's nothing wrong with actually doing that but once you go down a dark alley, there's consequences to pay for that, right? And that's why I always said, you know, as the saying goes, truth will always set you free. As long as eventually you come around to that, because every human being is going to go through that. And every human being, I'd argue, needs to go through that in order to um, find their virtuous path, find their moral path. They need to go through that darker side, right? But speaking about the I am, the I am statement is such a powerful statement, right? A lot of people don't realize um that i am um tends to sort of solidify who you are so if if you consistently say in the mirror every single day i am powerful i am uh, um i'm good i am just keep giving yourself just good adjectives in terms of who you are right the i am is what you could be what you are right and if you go and say i am worthless i am that you will be those things it's a very powerful statement like what follows that what follows the i am right might very well define the very idea of who you are and that psychologically can either break you or lift you right depending on how 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 much you stick on that on that uh, construct essentially so very powerful. Anyway, carry on. Let's uh, rock and roll. Make sure, make sure you have paid your dues. I'm devotion to the creature. I'm the priest you want. I'm on the front side of the far side in the moonlit dark. I'm an angel. I'm the patron of the crash of sword. I'm an omen, I'm a showman, I'm the holy lord of war. The devil comes 
sure if he hasn't flipped the script over here from the biblical the biblical and religious sense over here as almost as if he's trying to depict it as a cult to a certain degree um, because even on the bible he actually had the cross the other way around which is usually um depicts you know the a symbol of the the devil um <laughs> i'm not much of a theologian I don't know uh, uh, much about it. I've read a couple of things, but uh, I'm not going to profess to know much about uh, religion. I personally believe that the best religion in the world is whatever you believe in. If it brings hope and it brings comfort to you, that's the best religion in the world, right? As long as um, it means that you're kind to people, as long as that it means that, uh, uh, um, that you're moral and that you're virtuous, that's perfectly fine with me i'm not entirely sure as if uh he's trying to explain over here where it can be veiled like religion sometimes can be veiled as pure all right but also it can have it can have a very ulterior motive in terms of like pulling in pulling people into something that is cultish to a certain degree and there are churches like that obviously i mean the vast majority of them um are not like that maybe some some uh, who sit on the atheist fence will say that they are like that. Uh, I don't tend to believe that. I tend to believe that it's uh, um, a lot of the times it actually is a hospital for the sick, right? Um, and the sick of soul, the sick of mind, right? A lot of people, a lot of people that I know in my own personal life um, that have gone through a lot of strife and stuff like that, that have gone through drug addiction, that have gone through um, alcoholism and things like that, have tried absolutely everything, psychologists, rehab, blah, 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 and then turned to religion, found Christ, and somehow turn their entire lives around, right? It just depends what you attach yourself to. It doesn't have to be Christ per se, um, but there's a very powerful notion over there. I still believe that it's something that should be taught to kids in school, right? More for the virtuous facts of it, right? More for the morality of it. And for those of you who would say, would argue that um, you don't need religion or the Bible to know what is good and bad, uh, to know what is righteous or not righteous, to know to not kill someone, to know to not steal from somebody. Uh, for those of you who say, well, you don't need the Bible for that. I would argue that you don't need the Bible for that now. But all, all of those virtues, absolutely every single one are, is biblical. Ab every single one comes from biblical scripture, right? You trace that back and it's gonna, it comes from biblical scripture. So now, sure, as we've progressed and evolved as, as human beings, we can sort of distance ourselves from that um, and then say, well, no, I'm, it's obviously common sense is not to kill somebody. No, but it, that thy shall not kill is a biblical thing thy shall not covet their neighbor that's a biblical thing thy shall not steal that's a biblical thing all of those things all of that is biblical right so um yeah it's actually very cool i like this i'm not entirely sure in terms of what the story thing is over here so you can help me down in the comment section as well um but i, I, I like the the concept of this if i'm thinking correctly in where he's going with this. I'm a vulture, I'm an eagle, I'm the crow you seek. I'm the morning, I'm a groaning underneath your feet. I'm for the witches covered in stitches, holy matricide. I'm an angel, I'm the devil, and I'm coming inside. Yeah, so the way I see it is it's sometimes religion is actually being sold as good but can be demonic and then vice versa, right, essentially. So um, I, I, it's almost like he's trying to play like the devil. Um, the devil is kind of um, um, sort of veiling himself as something good. And where you, where you go to sort of find and seek solace might be the very place that throws you deeper into the depths of hell now far be it for me to preach about religion i'm not one to do that right 
you know my statements i've said in every single one of my videos all the people that are have been on this channel for a long time know that uh my overriding statement all the time when it comes to religion is if it offers you comfort and if it's something that um and provides you solace the best religion in the world is whatever you believe in all right as long as everybody else's can be respected i love you all please stay safe please stay healthy i'll catch you on the next one peace